Well, hey folks, Captain Dave here, riding down the road. And it's not because I want to be. I just uh, dropped the Jetty Wolf off at the shop. Um, because you will not believe what happened to me. Well, I mean, I, I can't believe it. I don't even... I can't even tell you, I don't even know what happened. But, that St. John's River is such a, I, I don't have too many kind words for it at all. Um, yesterday, I'm with a guy and his son from Austin, Texas. So they didn't, they didn't know like anything really as far as saltwater fishing or anything to do with it. And I anchored up on a spot that I've anchored probably, you know, a hundred times before. And of course the water's like damn near pure fresh and we're not catching diddly. We were at the inlet and his son was getting seasick. So we left there and I went up into the river by the little jetties and anchored up and we caught one little, we had one bite and it was a little drum this big. So we left, I go to leave, I start the engine and I go to pull the anchor. Well, it's stuck on something. It's stuck on something big time. Okay, come on dude. People fall asleep at these long traffic lights. Um, I go to pull the anchor, and you know, I got I run 20 foot anchor chain, and I'm not even in 20 foot of water. I'm in like 15 feet of water. So I pull up on it, and I go to get the anchor chain out, or pull pull on it, and the anchor chain comes right up to my roller in my on my bow. Well, it's stuck bigger than shit. I mean, stuck, stuck. And so I come back to the console. I veer off like this because I got granite boulders on this side of me. And the current in that river is so heinous. I mean, the boat is skiing on anchor. I'm so over it. So over that current. And so now the anchor's stuck, so I go to veer off this way because right here I got right here I got boulders. I veer off and the engine dies. Just goes I'm going on dies just beep and I'm like holy shit I restart it and I think I mean this was such a blur okay I mean it's such a blur in my mind because I got boulders behind me that are underwater and Whatever, it, whatever I'm hung on with the anchor comes loose. But it's something still on the anchor. And now I'm kind of drifting, but I got this like hundred, hundreds of pounds of weight hanging off the end of the anchor. So then I go and power against it or something again and the engine dies and goes beep. Well, I didn't want what was hanging on the anchor to get more stuck in the submerged boulders behind me. And it, I go up to the front and I snatch on it or whatever, and it comes off. Well, then I drift from where I'm at right over those submerged rocks 
right into the river channel. And there's like, I don't, the engine won't run. So Suzuki let me down, is all I can tell you. My Suzuki let me down. And I'm having an oh shit moment here. And I drop the anchor. It hangs in like 40 something foot of water out in the river because you just can't drift anywhere around here. And I tilt up the engine thinking, well, maybe I had ropes or something stall the engine out because I'm in such short of, I'm, I'm in such shallow, not shallow water, but I'm in shallow enough water. I didn't know if something blew back and got stuck in the prop. There's nothing in the prop. So I have no earthly idea what is going on. I tilt the engine up, there's nothing in the prop, and I call Sito, and I'm not going to mess with it, I'm not messing with it. So the reason there's not been any videos lately is my last video I mentioned that will be the last one till the new year, because there was Christmas going on, New Year's, I've been busy. There's so much going on. My dad goes in the hospital today. He's there right now to have surgery because he's got a clogged artery running down his neck and it made one of his eyes go dark. I mean, it's like, I don't know, a mini mini stroke or I don't know what it is they call it they got some kind of name for it so that's going on then on the what was it the 30th I go into the wolf den bare, bare feet I step on a certain part of the carpet and it's all wet so long story short there I've got a slab leak in the foundation, or you know, in the foundation there. So, Dad's in the hospital. Engine is—I don't know what's going on with the Suzuki. And I got a slab leak that I—I I turned it in, called my insurance company because slab leaks can run, you know, a thousand dollars to have that fixed or whatever. I don't have the thousand dollars to spend on that. So, I wanted to take the boat in and have the bearings changed on the trailer. That's a yearly thing that I always need to do. So, needless to say, folks, um, don't, don't bother going into the charter fishing business if you think you want to. Because, uh... It's not fun. There's nothing fun about it. I mean, when all hell breaks loose, hell breaks loose, let me tell you. I think this year, 2019, is either 22nd or 23rd year of me doing this. And the YouTube thing ain't working. The YouTube thing just isn't working. Um... I'm trying to do as many videos as I possibly can. Um, you know, the problem is, is the eight hours worth of editing. So this isn't being edited. I'm gonna start doing videos just like these dudes do on their uh, iPhones. There's no editing, they don't do nothing. The YouTube thing's just not working. I've been doing YouTube for a long time, and I mean, I consider it a pretty long time compared to a lot of people, and uh, you know, these three, four hundred views just doesn't cut it. I mean, no, I'm not a social media butterfly, a 
As a matter of fact, I truly believe that social media is the uh, pretty much the root of all evil. But that's what's been happening. I've got sitting on this SD card and this computer and on this camera right now. I got a sort of review thing that I wanted to show you. Um, haven't had a chance to even think about completing the video. I got some footage. It's a nice little product. It's a product review. I'm going to put it on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. It is, for me, it's absolutely a fantastic product. I love it. Love it. So, I don't know what this, you know, dropping the boat off at the mechanic right now. It's only 8.15. I got there really early. And I'm glad I did because I just saw a guy heading that direction. So, I'm first. They're going to just put my Suzuki on the computer and find out, like, what's the problem. <sighs> I wish I knew. But, um, so... I'm, at, I'm like without words. The last three days in the St. John's River has been brutal. Two days of fog so bad that you can't really go anywhere fast. We leave out in the fog and we fish in fog all day long and then we come back to the boat ramp at the end of the day and it's perfectly clear. It's unseasonably warm in Jacksonville, Florida right now. I'm in a t-shirt. I ought to be wearing some kind of jacket or something. There goes a guy in shorts, flip-flops, and a wife beater riding his bicycle. I mean, yeah, it's, oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. But I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you, folks. It's just abuse, abuse, abuse. You know, I'm sort of a little bit, you're catching me right here on my wits end. I hope it's nothing catastrophic here with the Suzuki. I mean, I was running along just fine for, th that, was my, that was my third day in a row yesterday. Everything was just fine. And then all of a sudden, whoop, When I need the engine the most is when it let me down. I used to say that about trolling motors. When I had bay boats with trolling motors on them, when you need that son of a bitch the most, it's going to let you down. Because I've had trolling motors, and when I needed it the most, that son of a bitch let me down. I've had everything in the world happen to a trolling motor. But then at the same time, I'm getting, I'm so fed up with the anchoring in that, in that river, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I make fun of all the guys with the trolling motors. Because, you know, these small boats, bay boats, are all supposed to be shallow water boats. And then they, they carry enough trolling motor crap, batteries, and everything else, that that's like carrying, you know, two extra people. And their boats are supposed to be shallow water boats. Really? I don't think so. So that's it. That's what's been going on. If I can get to this product review. I don't like that word review. Unless you go out and you use it. I am so sick and tired of these dudes on YouTube. Sitting there doing a knife review. Okay. Like let's say they take a super quality like this they take like this this is a spider co police they take this they don't do anything with it they sit there with the camera pointing down at it and sit and talk about it they sit there and they talk about how great it is 
well, at least on a review that I still call a show and tell. I like to at least show you doing something with it. If I can, you know. But I'm almost thinking, you know, maybe I need to go into the knife review business because there is there's nothing in the fishing business unless you got TNA and if you don't know what that means and you're like from Russia or something it means tits and ass if you don't got tits and ass in your fishing videos well you got to be a punky bass fisherman too you know you got to be one of these young young dudes out bass fishing because there ain't no I don't see a future in fishing videos of Jack in, in Jacksonville, Florida. That's for damn sure. So I'm thinking about going into the knife video business. I don't know. I'm my my brain is so scrambled right now. I don't know what I really want to do. All I know is. Something happened while I was pulling my anchor, and my engine let me down. <sighs> Alright, well that's going to be it for this one. I'm heading home. They're going to call me after they put it on a computer and tell me what I got wrong. How much more money I'm going to have to spend. from there but I'm like praying that everything goes hokey dokey with my dad in the hospital that's pretty major surgery when they go in everybody and their brothers had it the guy on my boat yesterday his dad had the same surgery his dad had it uh, a lot of people my grandma my father's mom had it done I think she was older than my dad my dad turns on on the 7th of January he turns 80 I believe <laughs> he'd be pissed if he if I didn't know I, I, I I'm not great with numbers it's like or there's certain things that I'm I'm attuned to and there's certain things I'm not and I'm hoping subscribers and followers of my channel I don't know everybody and their brothers giving you advice and the advice I get is literally make content and make it interesting that it makes people want to follow your channel because I cannot believe these guys with these knives laying on a table and chit-chatting about it there's a lot of guys that do more than that and that's the ones I like watching and then I watch some of these dudes I can't even stand I mean I I, I don't have no radio commentator voice by any means but I get where I'm watching these guys and there's a few of them that I might as well take pepper spray and spray it in my ears. That's how hurtful I believe it is to watch some of their videos. I can't stand it. I don't know. Oh, and then on the, what is it, the 8th? That's next Monday or Tuesday, I believe. Like I said, I'm not good with the anything to do with numbers. I don't know, but I'm going all the way to Gainesville to go to the VA hospital because I've got problems with my nose that I can't even breathe. I'm on constant spraying the sinus spray in my nose. Now I had a scan of my whole nasal passages and all this crap. 
and I got polyps in my nose and inflamed mysoconorondias or something. So I'm going to end up probably having some cutting inside my, up in my nose here or something. I don't know, eventually. I've been dealing with it since at least last summer, if not more. Because me and my dad were talking about it. Right when it started, it used to be so bad that I could hardly, like, lay down. It felt like my nose would just close up. So, yeah, you know what the, you know what the theme of this video is? I got nothing interesting to talk to you about except all the bullshit that's going on with me. So, if you find that interesting, leave a comment below. If not, leave a comment below. So, that's what's been going on, and I'll talk to y'all later when I finally get my product review video going. And you notice I've been probably, I'm kind of, as I'm, I think I mentioned it before, I'm leaning that direction. Because for some reason, there ain't enough of you that want to see anything to do with fishing. Especially fishing around here, I guess. I don't know. And like I said, the reason I started my entire YouTube channel is to educate potential and present customers. Well, it does a little bit of that, but not nearly as much as I thought it would. I actually thought customers went to my website. They don't even go to my website. I thought they'd click on videos because they'd go, wow, I get to watch this guy and see what he's doing. They don't. They just, I won't go fishing. They don't know what they want to do. They don't. I don't know. I thought educating people on what they would do on their trip would be something. It's not. All right. I'm done. Stick a fork in my ass. I'm done. I'll see you on the next one.